And I always think about it, I kind of like to stand and look around sometimes in the evening and go out to our home farm and kind of look around. And just perfectly quiet. Don't hear, not hear anything. No cattle making noises or chickens or dogs or anything. No noise anymore. So, and as I said before, um, it's kind of sad when you stand there and think about that, how the lifestyle has changed. And I always kind of dream of someday there'll be farmers back out there with a big farm, and you know it's not going to happen. But you kind of think about it again. What if a new generation grew up instead of farmers owning thousands of acres and driving huge tractors that it's a huge sum of them that if you meet one on a road you gotta you completely block the road from machinery. And they go so fast and if they go by the dust flies and where there used to be all small tractors around and maybe a team of horses and all that. So you kind of think I mean, possible that someday some young people will, will get back and start farming a family farm? Isn't too likely. And now people probably that aren't farmers at all, they're probably up to some buy up 20,000 acres and some buy up 40,000 acres. They don't set foot on it, they don't farm it, they just own it to try to make some money out of it. It used to be where we watch the crop going up. Now I think many of them look to see the green stuff coming up probably isn't just uh, corn and, and wheat and oats. So, and then as far as care of the land, the farmers in those days, they, they were so careful they treated the soil. You know, they couldn't abuse the soil. That was practically sacred to take care of rotation and and uh, natural fertilizer and no sprays, so no sprays. And uh, and it seems like the whole attitude change where there are some farmers that are in, uh, interested in the environment. Mm -hmm. There's some, but I people that own many thousands of acres, I just. You know, if there's a wetland, they got to run a tile in and drain the water off. Can't have any wildlife habitat left. You got to farm it because you might make a few dollars extra if you got rid of a slough or a patch of woods. You know. So that goes to burnt. It's uh, less and less habit for the wildlife. So pretty soon you won't see pheasants and ducks and meadowlarks. Well, meadowlark disappeared. You don't see them anymore because all well, their habitats. They're gone, and uh, pheasants and um, and other wildlife. There's no habitat. They're just bare fields with no protection for them in the winter time. So that's um, the part of the story of the rural area and all. 